this small section of mangroves, I was like, is that bamboo? Here on the island of Kalawit, the Tagbanwe use bamboo to build up their boats and their outriggers, like many of the banka in the Philippines. But here they use the mangroves to get the curves and dry the bamboo out. Let's take a look. Filipino boats like these banka typically have two outriggers that are supported by booms. So these curves gently slope up and support the boat for stability. So this is pretty cool. I haven't seen this technique before. In the past, I've seen some people um, using bamboo, like dug into the ground and then bent over using fire. But here they're using the mangroves and allowing the, I guess, support and the, the twisting of the bamboo to happen in here and then they tie it down. So it's pretty cool to get to observe this and right next to the water where they've got this little pocket of mangroves. Um, we've been learning a lot from the Tagbanwa. They have been living here forever. This is their ancestral lands and they've been fishing these waters and preserving this area. And you can see here this little reef um, actually looks like, well, not a reef really, a little mangrove was formulated. Um, we can take a closer look here, how they've reinforced it with rocks and how the actual mangroves really hold everything together. So yeah, that's a little inspiration for me too, because I started growing mangrove seedlings in Batangas and I want to help bring back some of the mangroves that have been lost. And, and this area uh, is a perfect little pocket garden of mangroves. So yeah. Since it's the Habagat or rainy season, lots of stuff is washing up on the beach, but also these mangrove seedlings are washing up too. So we're collecting them and we're growing them, so eventually the plan will be to do mangrove reforestation. Inspired to plant more and, and to, you know, learn from the indigenous peoples of the Philippines. I really enjoyed learning how the Tagbanwe use bamboo as their double outrigger hull design. This is a unique and practical way to put the material to use. Mangroves like this are a source of life and livelihood for coastal communities like this. That's why it's so great to see the community of the Tagbanwa tribe taking such care of these beautiful, beautiful ancestral lands. The Tagbanwa take only what's needed and truly have sustainable lifestyle. All right, that's it for me, Bam Brian. Uh, just talking about these little bamboo mangroves out here. So thank you for watching. If you've liked this video, please smash that like button. Consider subscribing for more content and live your best bamboo life, bamboo high.